Well, and I think that dumbing down, the numbing down, and, uh, you know, listen, even the Nazi, the famous, uh, what I think was Gehring, the head of the Luftwaffe, made the statement. He said, it's a good thing for us that people don't think anymore. Then you bring that into William Casey, the former head of the CIA, who, by the way, was whacked. He was murdered. Uh, he, he made the statement, we'll know uh, that our efforts have been uh, effective when everything the American people believe is a lie. Then you, you see brain mapping. You see all the things going on. And basically, at the end of the day, it's all a supra natural, beyond natural intelligence that is running things and that is destroying everything that God made. You made the statement, Tyler, that the walls are coming down, that the barriers are coming down. God puts barriers. I mean, everybody would be underwater if it wasn't for the barrier of the ocean, you know, and uh, the uh, or the beach sand or the cliffs or whatever. How God contains the waters of the deep is a marvel that only, you know, he can truly, uh, you can only understand it in the in the magnitude of, of, of the genius of Almighty God. But what's happening is when the barriers, you know, the scripture says, if the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Well, the thing is, when, when the wicked rule, you know, the righteous mourn. But here's something people have got to understand, and I, and I think this is critical in Donald Trump. I'm on record, and I want to go on record one last time and say it, and I pray and never have to say this again. Before Trump was even on the scene, and you know this, Doug, I said it on your show over and over and over, before God allows Russia and China to destroy the United States in a nuclear war, he's going to reveal the sins of the leaders to the people, and the people sins before a holy God. Now, obviously, the whole bunch in Washington, the political piranhas and the Potomac of self indulgence, you know, <laughs> in the putrefying in the putrefying pools of pestilence are, and I don't know what other peas I can throw in there, but it is such a, uh, a, 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 a wonderful picture, excuse me if you will, a picture of just how uh, disgusting our country has become. The pedo, excuse me, the pedophilia, uh, the bestiality, uh, the child sacrifice, the cannibalism, all those things coming back into play, and yet, you know, it's the, the tip throw, or tiptoe through the tulips, and now it basically it's a pogo stick through the minefield, and it, there is no truth. See, that's the thing that people don't understand. There is a, if you will, a if almost a genetic memory of there used to be right and wrong. Now in this blended gerbil factory of politicians, and I won't even describe what I mean by that, uh, they, they have made everything that's wicked uh, okay and everything that's okay wrong, and that we're right back to the scripture. Woe unto them who call evil good and good evil. So I don't care if everybody says, yeah, that's really cool. Did you have one one of those uh, uh, Fred burgers, and somebody said, yeah, I didn't think it was so good. I knew Fred before he became a burger. Now, that may sound like an attempt at humor, but even on the uh, uh, Tom Horn posted on Raiders News Update, his site, the fact that if you can genetically modify meat and make it, and so that pigs become no longer forbidden, uh, you know, to, to Jewish dietary laws, what's to stop them from making synthetic human meat and is it wrong to eat synthetic human meat? Well, you see, people don't get it, but that's where it's headed. It's not Soylent Green. It's going to be Soylent White. It's going to be Soylent, you know, oh, would you like to eat Chinese today? Would you like to eat American today? Or would you like to eat uh, a Mexican today? Now, understand, I'm not making fun of any of those races. But what I'm saying is, is that all barriers, right barriers that God created, they're down now, okay? And if, if people understand the rise and fall of the Roman Empire, read Gibbons if you don't, read Durant if you don't understand it, but the, we're right there. We're right there, you guys, and that's, that's Tyler, I think that's the... the every the, yeah, the, if every yeah. barrier and good thing that God set up in the beginning, those are ultimately the pillars that are... are are getting attacked first. You know, the the barrier between man and woman. That wow, I who would have who would have thought that, that this is where we're at now with that whole stuff. The barrier between man and beast. Who would have thought, you know, here we're at with that. I mean, every good thing separated unto its kind and is good in his eyes 
is being full on attacked, and that's that's scary stuff. If you don't know your Bible, folks, that is scary stuff. It's very true, and and you know, uh, your dad uh, Tyler Steve, Steve was one of the uh, first people, the first person I know to come out with the um, discussing that in in the intellectual realm. Time flies when you're having fun, Doug. Oh, and I want to I want to thank you uh, for letting me come on and rant and rave. I appreciate it <laughs> for indulging me. Uh, it's been a, a real pleasure being on with you guys. Uh, and I can't wait to talk to you. But just to circle back to one other point, you know, Dad was talking about the Catholics. And, and kind of what I was thinking was everyone kind of has, you know, these sex kind of sects, just want to be clear, uh, in their head. You know, you've got the Protestants, the Catholics, the Presbyterians, all the denominations. And, you know, in the Bible, and the Revelation talks about really there's going to be two churches. There's going to be the Church of the Antichrist, Church of Babylon, and the Church. It's not like Presbyterians and the Baptist ally, and then they get reinforcements from the Calvinists. It's not like Game of Thrones. No, it's it's one and two. It's binary, which is a trigger word for all those crazy trans people. Uh, it's you're either. It's like that wonderful scene in my favorite movie, The Ten Commandments. Those who are on the side of the Lord, you're on the you're over here. And those who worship the golden calf, well, you're getting subducted into the uh, the bowels of the earth. And it ties in with what Derek Prince said. He said, in the end times, there's going to be two churches, the Church of Cain and the Church of Abel. And we're seeing that now. And I would say a lot of, quote, Christians are in the Church of Cain because the ultimate product of the Church of Abel, that produced a martyr. And the other one produced a murderer. Something to think about. Well, we, uh, we've covered a lot of ground here, and I want to ask you this, Tyler, before you, you sign off. Uh, this What we're seeing in our world with the political divide, with the attack on, on the alternative media, and all, just an attack on the truth, and Steve, you said it exactly right, All the uh, everything that God established for humans to thrive, and all those foundations are being destroyed from you know marriage uh, to gender, and on and on and on. Is this the spiritual battle we're seeing manifesting to where we're seeing all this craziness from uh, the, the Mueller investigation and the, the unhinged left trying to grab guns and, uh, you know, the, the transgenderism being accepted in churches? And it, if this is the spiritual battle manifesting, uh, how much longer can we go at this pace before the church pretty much destroys itself? Well, it's got to get worse, I feel, unfortunately, before it can get better. I mean, the church always thrives. The church is at its strongest when it's persecuted, unfortunately. And the fire's got to get applied, uh, you know, and knock the dross off the silver, so to speak. And, I, you know, it sucks. No one wants to go through it. I don't want to go through it. I don't, you know, no one wants to experience, you know, Civil War II electric boogaloo. Uh, but that it's unfortunately, you know, you got to break the muscle down for it to get stronger. And I feel like that the only way the church in America will get it is when there is nothing on television anymore, or they can't get their Xanax on time. Like something has to interrupt the supply of pharmaceuticals. <laughs> and I think once that happens, a lot of people will wake up. That's a great point. It's a great point, and, and it's probably more accurate than not. Than no, that. I mean, I mean, think about it. I, I mean, I was half joking, but if, if you had an event that shut down the distribution centers, how many people are on uh, antipsychotics, anti-anxieties? If they, if that supply chain broke down for thirty, ninety days, I mean, you're going to have a little bit of a Walking Dead situation with people that are, yeah. you know, zombie-like. Yeah, you're precisely right. 